Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how to use the Visitor Entry Register version 1.0 in Microsoft Excel. We have developed this tool to enter the visitor's entry for the organization and using this tool, you can manage the visitor's entry. I will show you the quick key features of this tool. In this tool, we have given the login with the admin and user role axis and you can manage the users using the user management form. You can quickly see the quick insights of the visitor like by type of visitor, date buys or some other informations also. You can filter the data using the date range as well as you can short the data and you can filter by some other fields also. To enter the visitor information, you can use the data entry form with the visitor photo. You can track the transaction history using the history button as well as we have given the export to excel option for the reporting purpose. Now let me show you how you can use this. After downloading from our website you will get this zip file. So first thing you need to unzip this just right click extract all extract. So this is the accepted file. You can first right click and unblock this file if it is blocked from the properties. Just click on unblock and apply OK. So this is unblocked. Just double click to open this. Now this is the login phase and when you open the file automatically this will appear. Here you can use the default user ID and the password. You can use here admin1 and the password in the small case ABCD and just hit the enter. This is the main page or the landing page or the main dashboard. On the top we have given this minimize and maximize button so you can minimize and maximize the tool. We have given here to change the zoom level of the screen you can use this or you can click on this also so you can set as per your screen size. Then on the top we have few buttons like we have the user management. If you want to add the new user for the tool we have given here two user admin one and the user one. So you can use here let's say user one ABCD password or any password whatever you want and let's say I'm creating here user user one is already available. So I'm creating let's say user two and just okay. So we have created user two and we can log in with this one. We can delete this also just select and click on this delete. So that is deleted. Okay. Now let me close this and next is the manage list. If you click here, you can open this manage list. We have few drop down like purpose of visit. So here we have the purpose of visit list. You can add the new item to this list. Just type here and click on this add button and that will be added or you can add the new department or you can add the visitor type or you can add the ID proof type or you can select the status also. Okay, so you can manage this from here. This is the logout button. You can log out from here and uh, from here you can just get our email ID. From here you can visit our website. If you click it will take you to our website and you can get the more tools and uh, templates. Now using this button you can manage the user access control like you want to allow the update the transaction or delete the transaction. You can check this export to Excel and some other information. So you can just check and save. So accordingly when someone will log in with the user label ID then that person will be able to access these things only. Okay. Now let's close this. From here you can filter the data using the date range. You can select the date. Let's say I want to filter the data from 1st March till today's date and just refresh. So it will show you the data from the 1st March till today's date. It is showing the all data because it is all March data. If I select here, let's say I'm taking 5th March and then I refresh this, then you can see it will be filtered. So we are seeing only five records. You can see here the record count. If you select all period, then it will show you the all data. So this is the checkbox you can check to show you the all data. From here you can filter let's say I want to type the visitor name and just type here and click on this refresh it, it will show you the data for the particular visitor or the company or address purpose visit you can filter the data using this one and from here you can sort the data so you can 
just select any thing here let's say visitor id visitor name and uh, or the date of visit then you can sort your data like this okay using this control button you can add new visitor here if you want to do the new visitor entry just click on this button so it will open this add modify record and here you can type the name of the visitor let's say i'm putting pk address or the company if that person is coming from some company you can put the company name or you can type here address also let's say here i am putting new delhi purpose of visit you can put there like meeting interview delivery support seminar or whatever so let's say i am putting here seminar the contract number you can put the contact number also and let's say i am putting here contact number some dummy number the email address this is not the mandatory field you can input or you can just leave it blank date of visit by default it will take the today's date however you can change it using this calendar you can select any date automatically that date will be filled let's say i am putting here 11 then time in if you click on this button it will open this time picker and you can select the time by default it will take the current time but you can change it let's say i am saying this was 9:30 so I can select here 30 okay am and just apply time out I'm not filling that time out just because it is just the in once that person will go out then you can update the time out okay here you can enter the host name let's say I'm putting Jack the department of the Jack you can select if it is available HR or you can leave it or this is digital type okay so you can select the visitor type whatever you want let's say i want to select here client if you want to enter the id proof related information you can select the id proof and if that id proof is not available in your list you can just click on this plus button then it will open this and you can type the new id proof type here let's say i'm just putting new just to show you and just click on this plus button now here it is appearing and just close this now if i see still it is not appearing so i can refresh this from here and this is appearing now so i can select that right and you can input the id proof number also i'm just putting some dummy number and the vehicle number if vehicle is there then you can input otherwise you can leave it blank so let's say i'm leaving it blank entry authorized by you can put the entry author authorized by name otherwise you can leave it blank visitor pass if you are creating some pass and if the number is available of the visitor pass you can input that let's say i'm putting p123 but if you want to leave it blank you can leave it blank status you can put approve or you can put whatever you want and the remarks let's say i'm putting some test remarks otherwise you can leave it blank now if you want to add the visitor photo you can add that what you can do you can take the photo using the webcam and just keep the photo somewhere inside the folder and then you can use the add image button this one now just select the photo let's say i have one photo available in the download so i'm just selecting that click on open so that photo will appear here okay or if you don't want to take the visitor photo you can take the id proof photo also if you want so that is up to you and just submit that done let's close this so we can see this new entry is available here and whatever we have entered that is appearing okay and the, this is the photo url or the picture url now let's say if you want to mark out this person is going out then you can double click on this once this is going out or you can just close this and select that and you can click here that is the update existing record just click on this the same window will appear in including photo and everything and you can just update the out time so just click on that and let's say i'm updating the out time this time current time and just apply so that is entered and this is the stay time will be calculated automatically and you can submit that so it is updated we can close this now here we can see the summary this is the purpose of widget summary we can see and uh, here it is showing the count this is the date wise count and this is the visitor wise count visitor type wise count 
okay so you can export to excel this summary using this button so it will export the data you can export to excel this all information also as well as you can track the history using this button so you can just click on this using this record you can track the history of that particular record so you can see we have entered this twice so that is available so you can see the history and uh, here we can delete this record if you want you can simply click on this delete button so that record will be deleted okay now if you want to log in with the user level access so what we can do we can create one new user that is already available if you double click you can change the password let's say i'm putting abcd and click on this button so that password is changed now if mm -hmm. i log in with the user one i will show you quickly so let's log out this just click on the log out button Let's open the that file again. Now this time I will log in with the user one and password ABCD and just enter. So this person has the user level access only, not the admin level access. I will quickly show you. Now if I click on the user management, then it will show only this information. That means this user cannot create the other users because its role is the user. We can see the role here also on the top okay and we cannot delete any record if i click on the delete record it will show this message like you can't delete the record because you don't have the access okay you don't have the access of this button please contact your admin so that is how we can use the admin or the user role and if you want to allow to delete a record to the user also you can manage th that from the button which is not appearing here now you can see that manage user access control all right so that's it in this tool you can use this for the visitor entry register uh, for your office purpose friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching